Hey everybody, I'm Matt Rosenthal, CEO of MindCore Technologies, and today we're going to talk about the five things you can do and should do online when it comes to protecting yourself with cybersecurity. Hope you enjoy. So number one, the number one thing that you should do is make sure that you do pen testing. Pen testing is critically important when it comes to your entire company and that online experience, you want to make sure that you've, you've plug every hole possible so that people can't get in from the outside. The second thing you want to do is vulnerability assessments, and they usually go hand in hand, pen testing and vulnerability assessments, but when you get those results, it allows you to actually step back and say, oh, there's a gap here, there's a risk here, and then have an IT company actually step in and resolve those issues. Something else that's really important that everybody should be doing to protect themselves online is security patch management. So oftentimes you'll hear about Microsoft or other companies putting out uh, releases or patches. If you don't put those security patches in, if you don't have somebody doing that on a regular basis, it is almost a certainty that one of those vulnerabilities is going to be breached. Somebody's going to get in, somebody's going to take advantage of that. That's what these people out there are looking to do. So you've really, really got to have that in mind. Another thing that you should do if you're using Office 365, for example, is make sure that you have your email security turned on. That email security's gotta be turned on. It may be the, the built-in security, but oftentimes we will advise that you have a third-party application that's actually monitoring those email boxes to make sure that if there's any behavior that really shouldn't be going on, that there's an alert, that there's awareness, and that you can take some action to see if somebody's actually in your email system. The last thing I wanna tell you, the last item I wanna share with you, which is potentially the most important and also the least expensive is multi-factor authentication. You might recognize that, for example, when you go to your bank and you get a text with a six-digit code. Well, the only way somebody can log into that bank account is if they have your six-digit code, which means they have to have your phone. That is extremely, extremely important when it comes to your own office, to your business, to having that in place, to having some software, some solution in place that, that, that delivers the multi-factor authentication. So I hope these five tips helped you. Take it a step further. These are more than tips. These are things that you, you really should and I would even say you must do to protect your company when it comes to cybersecurity, to protect yourself online. So I encourage you to subscribe down below to learn more about cybersecurity. And if you wanna book a call, have a conversation, that link is down below also. Thank you, hope you enjoyed.